What's going on, everyone? I know. I know, this is kind of strange. I'm playing The Witcher 3, which is a pretty old game, but it's still kind of relevant, I guess. The reason why I decided to hop on this game, honestly, is because of the new Witcher series on Netflix. That is a really, really good series. I don't know if you all have seen it or not, but I've been enjoying it a lot. And, well, since I've been enjoying it, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try out the game. Now, this is my first time ever experiencing a Witcher game, period. And as you can see, I'm starting from The Witcher 3. Probably shouldn't be doing that. But nonetheless, I am going to be playing this game because so far, I have been really engaged. So since I am going to be spending so much time into this game completing it, I decided I'd make some content over it. I'm not exactly sure what you are going to think about me uploading this kind of content since this isn't technically the newest game out. But yeah, I'm going to be showing off secrets. I'm also going to be showing different outcomes that you can get from choosing certain dialogue options in the game. I noticed in The Witcher you get choices to choose from. It gives you that sort of freedom and I love games that are like that and I'm probably gonna need your guys's help with some of my future content so if you know any secrets around in the game that I should cover just to bring them back up to players or certain dialogue options that I should choose to get some kind of interesting reaction please feel free to share it in the comments section I'll definitely be reading the comments for these videos that I post about this game because this is really random that I'm posting content all of a sudden over the Witcher 3 I'm definitely interested in seeing what your all's reaction is over this by the way, if you find this kind of content enjoyable, please consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. As always, though, that is totally up to you if you want to do that. Totally understandable if you don't, because this is some unusual content that I'm posting. I'm not really sure if you are going to enjoy this. So yeah, now since I got that introduction out of the way, just wanted to give a reasoning on why I'm just randomly posting about this game. I decided I'd be starting off this series for The Witcher 3, showing what happens after we kill too many cows at White Orchard. Alrighty, so let's get into taking out these cows now. And how I discovered this was kind of by complete accident. I was looking up Witcher 3 content and I discovered a money exploit for beginner players. And then from there I learned that this money exploit was patched in a way. I'm about to be showing you what I mean by that. So as you can see, I just killed the cows and I looted their corpse. This is basically the money exploit. Once you do that scenario, you then just have to go meditate. And after you meditate, they should respawn. This is technically what the money exploit was. Beginner players would be able to just farm cows over and over and just sell the goods that they got from their bodies, such as cow hide, raw meat, cow's milk, etc. But CD Projekt Red, put in a sneaky little patch. They didn't technically make it so the cows don't respawn anymore, but you'll see. So yeah, this is useful if you're just starting out. And I was hoping that I could continue to do this. However, I found out something pretty eerie that happens once you do take out enough cows. Pretty sure I just have to take out two more. I think it's a total of six. Ah. There they are. Oh gosh, I'm about to do this when it's daylight. First time that I discovered this, it was night out and it freaked me the heck out. But yeah, let's go ahead and take these out. This should be the sixth one right here. And this is how you spawn this evil being that comes after you. You'll see. First, I'm gonna save it too, just in case. I wanna, I kinda wanna try to kill it. It's going to be difficult at this low of a level, but it may be possible. Alright. So there's the sixth cow. And there it is! There is the demon. Why is it notifying me of that? What the heck? Oh my gosh. As you can see, its name is Chort. And this enemy is actually based off... Oh my gosh! It just one hit me. Fail. I'm gonna try to take this out. But yeah, this enemy named Chort is actually based off a demon in demonology. I just Google searched Chort definition, this is what came up. No, I don't study demonology. But yeah, Chort is described to be a demon of total evil with horns, hooves, and a skinny tail with a pig face. And that is exactly what spawns after you take out six cows in White Orchard. Pretty creepy. It honestly kind of reminds me of the Sheep Squatch from Fallout 76. At least, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from it. And believe it or not, this is what CD Projekt Red actually implemented into the game as a patch 
when they figured out that players were exploiting the game by killing these cows for their beginning playthroughs. Instead of just completely, you know, making it so the cows don't respawn or something, they implemented this demon that'll come out of nowhere and will take you out, as you can see, in one hit. I mean, of course, if you're a higher level, you won't be taken out in one hit, but this is a very high level creature, no matter what level you are. It's extremely powerful. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to take it out, being as low of a level as I am right now. I don't think it's possible, but heck, who knows? This isn't going to be a walk in the park. Not at all. Come on, guards, do something. Come on, come just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Really? Just like that, huh? Is this thing invincible? I can't really tell. You know what, maybe if I run to another town with more guards, I might be successful in taking this thing out. I wonder what it has on it. Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna roll all the way to the Nilf Guardians. Time to end this. No, Geralt, it's not time to end this. It's time to continue rolling. Because this demon is after us. Yes! Yes! Come my way! It's actually following me. Hang on, buddy. There's currently a big demon chasing me at the moment. We're rolling all the way to the Nilf Guardians. And that's where you're gonna meet your demise. Hopefully. Guards, help me! There's a wild demon! What? Uh... Where'd Chort go? Wow. He stopped following me. What the heck? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get back here! No! This way! Gosh, you're one big pain in my nipples. This way. I don't know when you stopped following me, but come on. You want to kill me, right? You're going to have to continue to follow me. Because I'm trying to kill you, too. Yes. We're almost there. You guys see this? Good! Attack it! Um. Guys. Do you not see what's going on here? Yes! Wow. These guards are not doing any damage. Anyways, uh, I guess let's continue heading to the Nilf Guardians. Maybe they'll be able to handle this beast. Time to end this. No, Geralt, buddy, I'm afraid it's not time to end this. Yes! Yes, we are finally almost there. And I'm still alive. Somehow. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bacon, as well as a demon. Wait. What the heck? Where are you guys going? The demon is this way. Okay, so we made it. We got all these guards now attacking this thing. And I just realized this, that it's continuing to be healed by six. Well, I guess six makes sense since it is supposed to be a demon. But how in the world am I supposed to take this thing down at as low of a level as I am currently? It's just not going to happen. Can you worry about the guards? Come on. You got tons of other... Enemies attacking you, Chort. Why are you just focused on me? Is it because I'm the cow killer? Oh, gosh! I got you a little upset, didn't it? Yeah, they're not doing any damage to this thing. Like, nothing. They're tickling this thing. And not to mention, he's continuing to be healed. No, what are you doing? That guard tried to kill me. He's using me as a meat shield. Well, in a way, I guess this is still kind of like a little exploit here. He's going to take out all these... Oh, dang on it! As I was trying to say, he could take out all the guards and I could just loot their bodies and then sell the stuff they have on their bodies. But, uh, 
Yeah, he came straight after me. He is just purely focused on me. I guess, once again, because I'm the guy who killed the cows. I'm going to give this one more go because I would really like to see what he drops. But if I can't take him out now, I may take him out in a future video. All right. Turn around, guys. Turn around. Let's take out this thing. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six guards here. I think I counted that right. And this time you are not taking me out. Okay, while it's distracted, let me try hitting it a couple times. Oh my gosh! I thought I was distracted. Oh my goodness, absolutely no damage at all. Guards, can you attack it or something? Why are you just circling it? No! Yeah, this just isn't happening right now. But hey, at least you got to see this little secret that you can trigger by taking out a bunch of cows. Hopefully you all found this enjoyable. If you did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. Seeing how random this video is, I don't really know if it's going to do that well, in all honesty. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.